Hey guys, so today I'm going to take apart this digital tape measure, and as you'd expect, it measures the length of something, displays it on the screen when an object is placed between this lip and the inside of this little metal clip here. And it has, let's see, it's got fractional inches, it's got decimal inches, it's got decimal feet, decimal centimeters, and so on. Another feature it has is if you're measuring something you want to know the midpoint, there's a midpoint button. So you can you know, make your midpoint mark. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to see how the inside of this is manufactured and how they, you know, judging from this tape, there's clearly something reading this, but we'll see how they got around that. Okay, right off the bat, it has those, I don't know what they're called, but basically it looks like a Phillips, but the tip is rounded off. So if you try to use a regular Phillips, it just kind of, skips on you. It's like a security screw. So I've got some tape handy so when I get this apart I can try to keep it from unraveling on me. Okay so this little spring tab here goes under the board and uh, there's like an extra dab of solder here that it, it kind of uh, that rests on for the battery. So right away we can just see, okay, there's our uh, microcontroller here and it's an LCD screen, nothing, nothing fancy. No. So what we have here is this is a this is an encoder and it's an incremental encoder so that each one of these uh, rings here is a different set of increments and the back of the spool here has these copper spring contacts so as that you know you um, extend the tape and move the tape around the, the chip is keeping track of that and along the whole length of the tape we have this um, this is basically a magnetic strip, so you can, uh, let me see, I think I have a, like a compass. So we should be able to pick up something here, and yep, yeah. so you can see as I, as I move it there, so there's, um, gonna be, it's gonna be hard to see. Let's see if we can, yeah, so in there you're gonna have your, uh, magnetic encoder. So this is a linear magnetic encoder and we have our rotary encoder here. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. So what they're doing here is they're going to use the, the data they get from that and double check it and cross check it with this. So this is an incremental encoder. This is called an absolute encoder. So they can cross reference each other to make sure that they know where the tape is. And it's better that they use the magnetic here because uh, a capacitive sensor like the one found in the, uh, let me show you. Yeah, the capacitive encoder found in the Nixie, or the, uh, the Wixie digital angle gauge that, uh, from the last video. And also the digital caliper has the capacitive encoder. And the downside of those is if any you know, grease or dirt or moisture, anything that's in there is going to affect the reading because the, it, it all goes off uh, the capacitance. And the magnetic strip here is going to have a more accurate reading. You know, if you've got some grease on your fingers, uh, it's not going to affect the magnetic encoder. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the hard part here is going to be getting this back together. Okay, it's gonna be the hard part because I gotta wind this up, put some tension on the spring, and then line it up with this without letting it unravel. So, 
looks like I have a kind of like a slot here. Maybe I can take advantage of. Okay, looks like uh, I managed to take it apart, put it back together without damaging anything, um, which is, I'm actually pretty surprised. But... Alright guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.